Hello Internet! Well, today I'm going to show you a way to put in a interactive polling system and an interactive questionnaire system on your website without paying anybody anything using Google Docs embedded techniques. I know that sounds really complicated, but I'm going to go through this as slow as possible so that you understand it. What I did here was I created a questionnaire system based off of something called Myers-Briggs to help people that visit my website figure out what job is best for them. Now what this is, is a, this is a Google Docs created form system. You can see here they enter their initials so they can find themselves in a result because I don't ever ask people to subscribe to anything. Answer all the questions and then go down to the bottom and hit submit. And that, and then after they do that, it chucks out all of their results over on this page here. And there's the results. So I give, I put everybody into different systems, uh, different types of people, different types of personalities that I refer to as the guides, artists, providers, communicators, and so forth, which I then go under and I uh, explain what all those mean. You can see here though, whenever people answer the questionnaire, this automatically updates. And I'm able to even do graphing systems to show how everybody voted. So you can see there's more techies visiting my website than anything else in any descriptions. But I'll jump over here to actually show you what the spreadsheet looks like that generated all this. First off, you click here to create your form, but I'm going to show you that in a minute. What is a little bit odd about Google Docs is if you edit the form data in any way that it automatically generates, it normally breaks the whole entire thing. So make sure that you create different sheets, and you can see down here I created one, two, three sheets. The first sheet do not touch, just allow that to be only the information Google got, grabbed from your form. Then you should be perfectly fine. Over on sheet two, I then quantify all of that information. And you can see right here exactly how I did it. I used the exact tool. You can see here it says sheet one, exclamation point, C2. That is referring to C2 on the first sheet. And then what I did was I typed if exact. Their answer was take over a business someone started, put down the number three, and if, if exact, again same thing, is equal to start my own business, give them the number nine, otherwise zero. And that is how you would pull that information in. I would then want to edit this information instead of editing the raw data, because I don't want to break my Google document. It's a little tiny bit buggy, but in general it's a fabulous tool that nobody seems to really take advantage of. Okay, so here I basically have the answers to all their questions. Well, over on sheet three, I then quantify. If their answer represented the way a guide in this circumstance would answer, I would put a uh, additional point or I would add to the overall guide uh, personality type. And you can see how I did that. See here it says sheet two, exclamation point C2, and what this basically does is, if they answered as a guide in any of the questions, it adds one guide count. And that is how simple that is. Basically, I add up all the guide answers, artist answers, and then from that point decide what type of person they are. So, you can see over here, you can also do interactive graphs, bar charts, and so forth. But I'm gonna actually show you right now how to create one of these systems. If you're not used to this system, you would go to google.com, just click on settings and go to Google account settings, click on Google Docs. Then what you want to do is go create new spreadsheet. Click on form, create a form. Then you want to type in, you could, this would be the title of your questionnaire, explanation of it. There's different themes for your uh, forms that you can choose here. You can choose to email it, to, to see responses. I mean, it's, it's just really great. So let's type in something. What fruit? And then, what do you prefer? Help text if I want it. I can say get a text answer, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, all sorts of different options. I'm going to choose multiple choice. Then 
Click on this to make the required question. Here you would edit, here you would duplicate a question, here you would trash a question. Then hit done. And then you want to save it. And then you would see here, based off of how they answered, I left the sample question on, that's why it's there. But based off of the answer that they give you, that's going to appear right here. And that's basically how you set up a form. Now if you wanted to take that information and uh, quantify it, remember we don't want to change anything that we go through here on a sheet. What you would do is, if I go back to the, my other page in Google Docs, and go back to the Guidance Counselor part. Now if I go back to my other page, you can see this is Sheet 1. Again, we don't want to edit that. I want to go to Sheet 2. Take all the information, check the answers, and then give numbers based off of that answer. And then over on sheet three, I'm able to take all this. This is the, what is actually on the website that it is available to the world. So everybody can see all of this information. Now, if you wanted to share that with people, you would just quickly go over here, click on share, and get link to share. And whenever you click on Get Link to Share, it's actually going to give you the link. It's encoded with a password, so I can't do that. But you just simply click on Get the Link to Share, and then dump that. It's going to be an embed uh, script. You want to dump that into your website, and everything will just work right on its own. And if you create a uh, chart, it's going to work in much the same way. Now if you wanted to add a chart, like I did right here, or a bar graph, go over here to insert and hit chart. And this is what the chart system looks like. Then what you would do is put in your uh, letter, number, code for each on, you know, on your spreadsheet in here. So this would develop a span. And if I wanted to quantify all the data from say A8 to D8, then I would just simply type that in here and it would automatically make the chart appear. So let's just do something simple here. I'll just do I4 to J8. And you can see it automatically pulls all that data in, creates the bar graph, then you can give the chart a title, define what the horizontal, vertical axis is, define if you want a legend, and do all sorts of other neat little things with it. Then you would just click on this chart button right here. If you wanted to publish on your website, and click on publish chart, and it would give you a link directly to this chart. Basically how you would set up a Google questionnaire slash polling system on your website I think it's pretty easy. It's all basically just typing the information in. I gave you all of the different codes um, in regards to formulas that you can use, but if anything was a little bit complicated, because it's totally a little bit complicated, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching the video and have a great day.